Hi, this is Zhenji, and today I'll be introducing to you our senior capstone project. Well, the name is the Python Slayer. As you can guess, it's, for, it's about Python programming. Well, it's more about the algorithm designing. We'll see later. Let's first introduce you to our, to our teammates. First, our lead, Ziyang Wang, is an experienced programmer and fluent in many programming languages, such as C, C++, Python, and JavaScript. It's because of that, he was in charge of our backend part, which is the, the web server part. And Tony is in charge of the uh, animation and picture designing. As for me, I am more comfortable with uh, HTML and CSS, so I'm in charge of the front end stuff. All right, let's just get to our website. All right, this is what our website looks like. As you can see, there are a lot of different topics about the algorithms, like we have graph, tree, and math, all that kind of stuff. And the stars means the difficulty of a specific uh, topic. And the one most important thing about our website, our project is to gamify each topics. Those topics are hard, I'm not gonna deny that, but there is a way we can make them as simple as possible. For example, we have this guy, the Hamiltonian cycle. Let's just skip the definition part, it's boring. And when let's just look at some real life problem. Let's see, we wanna visit uh, 11 buildings on our campus. I start with Harville and we wanna visit them uh, once at most, except for the, the first one, because we wanna get back to Harville in the end. So what's so special about this website is it contains a lot of different games that visualize the idea of a specific algorithm. For example, we have um, this one. By clicking the, the picture, I can just move our student, the hamster, around this one, this one here. So if I think I make the wrong move, I just click, go back and uh, get back to the previous uh, position. Oh, I have to go back again. Mm -hmm, the hair is fine. So the point of making such game is to, to get the students involved they are not just a reader or just audience of our article. It's boring. We want to get them engaged in these topics. And but as always, we have the, the coding time. We're gonna have the short uh, introduction to the uh, algorithms, and we have the code available for anyone to copy and paste. So in the end, I would like to walk you through some problems that we faced. So the first one is the website's deployment. Even though we all have some background with uh, HTML and CSS programming, but it is our first time ever de deploying an, a website onto a web server. Uh, it took us a week to find out a way to push our code to GitHub and make it uh, reachable for our users. So the second one is the different favorite languages. So as for me, my favorite language is uh, JavaScript, and for Tony is C++ and Zion prefers uh, PHP. Uh, but in the end, we all decided to just use uh, JavaScript, JavaScript for convenience. And the last one is the code correctness. Uh, since our website is a tutorial, tutorial website, we can see a lot of different codes uh, on our website, but some of the code were written ourselves and we have to check with our professors to make sure those codes are correct. So what have we, what we have learned through this process? The first one is game development using the HTML and the uh, JavaScript. The second one is the fast fr uh, framework. Like I mentioned before, we all have exper experience with HTML programming, but that's just the front end stuff. Uh, for, but for back end, we have no idea so we had to learn it from scratch. And the last one is working together. So that's it.